So we want to talk about fan clutches on your engines. Now there's different kinds of fan clutches that are out on the market today. Uh, there's Horton, there's Kaiser, there's still some Bendix on the Ford, they still have to run the FDL and uh, we're still seeing them. So when it comes to fan clutches, we're not here to promote one over the other. What we want you to do is whatever fan clutch you buy from us, we want you to make sure that you hook it up properly, that you connect it in a way that you're going to protect your investment. So let's think about a fan clutch. What, what is, what's in it? Well, it's uh, kind of like a clutch on your transmission of your truck. It's got a friction disc in it. It doesn't matter what kind of clutch, Bendix, Horton, Kaiser, they've all got a piece of friction material. But they also require air pressure to either release them or engage them. And that air pressure is where we find the issue. So here's how a control would work. For example, here's a Kaiser stat. You, you screw it into your engine block where it can sense water temperature. And uh, for example, this is a Kaiser clutch, so it's locked up right now. So what would happen is air would go in here, it would go out here, and it would fill this with 120 pounds of air pressure. And then what happens is when this senses that it's at 205 or 200 degrees, whatever your control is set at, it would shut the air off, and your fan clutch would apply, and your fan blade would start turning and cooling your engine. The concern that we have is, like anything, if you were to ride the clutch on your transmission, if you were to hold your foot on it a little bit, you'd soon burn it out, wouldn't you? you throw out bearing in your clutch. Well, the same applies to a fan clutch. If you only get 60 or 70 pounds of air through your stat or your control, then your lining inside your fan clutch starts to slip and burn. And when you take your old clutch off and you see that it's been running hot, well, it would be a good idea for you to change your control or your signal line to the unit. You, you might even want to test it. Make sure that you're delivering the proper amount of pressure through your control. Now, there's different kinds of controls out there. Here, here's the other one that uh, Horton uses for uh, their Horton fan clutch. And once again, make sure that your controls are working. You're, you're supplying air in, you're supplying air out. Okay. So if you have controls on your truck that are supplying air to your fan clutch, then we recommend that you have a good look at your controls. Make sure your controls are working properly. Make sure your line from your control to your fan clutch is in good shape. And by doing so, you're going to obviously prolong the life of your fan hub.